This week, El Paso marks the fourth anniversary of the mass shooting at the Seattle Vista Walmart. The shooter, sentenced just weeks ago to life in federal prison, among other dozens of hate crime charges. An examination of how these types of extreme crimes happen is the topic of a discussion tonight. ABC 7 anchor Stephanie Valle is moderating that panel discussion. She joins us live from downtown El Paso with a preview. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Mark. That panel discussion starts at 6 o'clock this evening, which is why I will not be in the studio tonight. And it is, it is taking place here downtown in the El Paso Foundation or the El Paso Community Foundation room here downtown El Paso on Oregon Street. Now, the Anti-Defamation League is organizing this panel discussion. The organizers hope to shed light on how hate crimes like the one here in El Paso occurred. 23 people were killed, 22 others were wounded, and hundreds, if not thousands, more have dealt with the emotional trauma caused by the crime. So tonight I'll be getting insight on extremism and how to both combat it as well as how to move forward as a community from a member of the ADL's investigative research team as well as a communications specialist with El Paso's FBI office plus a communications expert with UTEP and the founder of the Hope Border Institute. The panel discussion on the pipeline of extremism begins at 6 p.m. downtown at the El Paso Community Foundation room, which is at 333 North Oregon across from San Jacinto Plaza, and it runs until 8 p.m. tonight. The ADL is opening this up to everyone to attend, but you must RSVP first. You can do that by visiting this site, support.adl.org slash El Paso Remembers. It is free, and the reason the ADL needs RSVPs is because this room's space is limited. Mark, back to you. Stephanie, thank you very much.